on this episode of Weekly Obsession. Steph's making jokes in my ear. <laughs> How much stronger are you from phase one when we first did these? Your legs and butt have shaped up so much. I know, right? I got like a butt lift. I've gotten a more rounder shape at the top. I know what's happening. Gains. How you fuel your body will determine the results that happen in the workout. Who loves repeat day? I do. I do. I'm feeling way better through this whole process than I thought I would. I feel like I just want to hit the ground running. Push, get them up. I don't have oxygen for this. <laughs> So I've definitely noticed changes in my butt since we've started this program. And if anything, I'd say I've, I have more upper fullness. So like here in this area at the top and on the side, I've gotten a more rounder shape at the top. I've definitely noticed changes in my booty for sure. This part up here is like way fuller. My booty's more muscular than it was. It's definitely more toned. All my pants at home, the waists are all too big. My weight is the same, but the shape of my legs and like my muscle tone has changed my body so much that I went down two sizes in my jeans. So now I actually have like a butt that's like rounded, not a butt that's like flat here and like hanging all right here. It's all kind of like gone. I got like a butt lift. Last day of booty in phase two. We are back to a two by 15. Sink back and then press up and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make sure the hips Sink back every time. If you're doing a dumbbell swing properly, you're gonna feel it mostly in your the sides of your butt and your hamstrings too. And if you're doing it wrong, you're gonna feel it in your shoulders if you're trying to lift from your arms and you don't want, like you're pushing from your lower back. This is the last week of phase two, so we start retiring workouts today. Oh, dear. I really like the crossovers with the weight behind our knees. I felt those a lot, so I think I'll miss those exercises. Holy cow, I don't know what my deal is. It's hard. I'm lifting heavy. My heart rate's at 160. That's higher than my cardio days. The way you use your weights and the way you stack the exercises and the little amount of break time in between keeps your heart rate in a cardio zone. So you're getting like a bigger bang for your buck. I'm building muscle, I'm gaining strength, but I'm also torching way more calories because I'm keeping my heart rate up. I know what's happening. Gains. And then when you go walking past that mirror and you're like, oh, booty. It's like meal prep has become such a integral part of my life that I don't even feel like I'm like, oh, I have to meal prep. I've learned that preparation is key. I used to never freeze anything, but now I've frozen breakfast burritos, I've frozen sweet potatoes. So I've just really learned effective ways to food prep that don't take a lot of time. I do my meal prepping in like three to four day blocks. So I don't like to prep for the whole week because I'll get bored with what I'm eating. It becomes habit, it becomes a lifestyle. I can't even imagine going back to eating and doing the things that I was doing before. Welcome to Cardio Core. It is our last Cardio Core workout of phase two. Push, get them up. Yes, it's all working. Carrie, your legs and butt have shaped up so much. I know, right? Every time I look, I'm like, damn. Use those legs down when you jump in. Make it work. Don't let those hips sink low. Keep that flat line. You guys, can we just talk about skin for a second? I know everybody like bends forward and they're like, oh my God, I'm so fat. It's not fat, it's skin. Look, we all have it. You can't, you can't be embarrassed or ashamed of that. It's just part of our bodies. I just see people beat themselves up about that all the time, so. I have it. I, there's nowhere for me to tuck it into in these shorts. I don't think that there should be one definition of what you should look like if to qualify fit. as fit and healthy because there are so many different body types. Yep. There are people that relate to different people too. It's like that whole find your tribe message. When I talk about finding my tribe, it's just kind of like that group of people that gets you. That's, I think, really important to anybody who's going on a journey and trying to change something in their life. You need those people who are gonna support you on the hard days and kind of know what's your why why, what are you trying to accomplish? And they can remind you of it on the days that you forget and you can do the same for them. I feel so much less stressed about repeat day today because- You were literally crying. Yeah, I was literally crying. I know, you were like, I know. We're about this, we're about this yeah, before. I was. I just feel like I know what I'm doing. That was my biggest problem last time. So now that I've done it once, I'm like, okay, I can do this, no problem. Hey, today's repeat day. <laughs> Who loves repeat day? I do. I do. Squat, 
row, twist, row. This is like the epitome of a compound movement. Your entire body is working. Shoulders working, legs, butt, hamstrings, quads. Total body core is difficult for me because of how much we work the shoulders. My shoulders get really tired and the moves are so detailed, the compound movement like Autumn talked about. You just really have to pay close attention, keep good form. You can't just like rush through it, which are all good things, but it also makes it miserable sometimes. Hey, my shoulder burns. Oh yeah, what's that? Somebody's torturing me? <laughs> He said, oh, what's happening? Somebody's torturing you? Just me. As your chest gets tired, if you just press into a, a wall or a doorway and open that up a little bit, that'll feel really good. You could also do it with a partner. If you have a friend, you press into each other and rotate. Don't push too hard. You just want a nice little stretch in the chest, but it'll help loosen it up a little bit more. My muscles feel way better though. Like I, yesterday yeah, when we left the workout, I felt like I couldn't lift my arms over my head. And I did take an Epsom salt bath, but I do that frequently. But this morning my muscles feel like completely normal. Like yeah. I don't feel overly tired and fighting a cold and I feel like a million times better. So you I think the refeed fed. I feel refed. The refeed day came at perfect time for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I gotta say, I'm feeling way better through this whole process than I thought I would. Like in preparation for it, I thought days, like doing that every day in the morning, I didn't think I'd make it. I told you, I think, before I came into this program, I had a hamstring injury for like three months, and one day it was just gone in the middle of this program. Like, I went down to touch my toes, and I was expecting it to get that impingement when I bent down, and it was literally just gone. I was trying so hard before this program started to focus on healing that muscle, and then when I just focused on doing these exercises and fixing my form the way Autumn suggested and lifting the weights that Autumn suggested, it's like all of a sudden that impingement was gone. So it was a great feeling. This two by 15, I wanna keep that heart rate pumping. Lots of different hand positions for the weight. You can either hold one slightly heavier or you can stick with what Carrie's doing. She has two. How much stronger are you from phase one when we first did these? with no weight, and I don't know about you guys, but I was falling all over the place. Two, one, I don't think it has much. See? <laughs> I can't believe how much improvement I've had in a lot of these moves, but there's one called the Weighted Warrior where we had to add a weight onto it. So I remember being a little nervous because I was like, am I gonna, is this gonna bring me down to the ground? But it didn't. Oh, you guys are so quiet. Help a girl out. I am. <laughs> I love it. Other side. Who had sugar? They did. I definitely feel like having that refeed day, it kicked in. My muscles felt very strong. And once we started, I did feel energized. Like, I definitely was talking more than I was talking yesterday. You know what you guys haven't screamed at me in a long time? Pineapples. Pineapples. Because it never works. <laughs> Bring on phase three. I want my arms, which they, this has happened through this process, to be toned but small. It's so all diet. It's all diet. Every, like, it is. As a trainer, you would think I'd be the one being like, it's all about what you do. But how you fuel your body will determine the results that happen in the workout. Nutrition's everything when it comes to how your body looks, really. A workout is somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour of your day. Well, you have 23 other hours in the day where you have to eat multiple times a day. What you put in your body will determine what that workout result looks like on you. If you eat appropriately, proper portion, time nutrition, balanced out, you're gonna look great, you're gonna feel great. That's what matters. Do you guys ever wonder why there's trees on the other side of that glass? <laughs> also, do you think they're real? Why some of it looks like they're dying? <laughs> Are we wondering? Wait, let's go explore. <laughs> We're going in the jungle. Go Tarzan. I don't. I, want, I think they're real. Wait, we should uh, all we should one. all hide in here. <laughs> <laughs> also, this lighting would be great. <laughs> no, seriously, that would be for great yourself. for your house, where you can take selfies. <laughs> This is going to be my bar Oh, card. look, you got a Swiffer if you need it. <laughs> That's your coffee cup. cup. That's not mine. I think phase two should just be called shoulder phase. I mean, I phase agree. one was ass phase. Like, my butt was just sore yeah, every I minute mean, of every day. Phase two is shoulders. But I, I don't know what phase is going to be. Because my butt is strong now, 
not as sore as every day. My butt's still sore every day. But now my back and shoulders have been sore every day. Sure. But my butt is sore after butt day, but I'm not sore like I was sore all last. month long in my butt, like I was in month one. Weights just go straight up. They don't need to come together over your head. We're not trying to make an A. We're making an H. <laughs> squeeze it. Really focus on that squeeze going up. You feel your butt a lot when you do bridges, but it's good. It works. It targets certain areas that you never thought of. <laughs> Stop making jokes in my ear that are really funny. <laughs> no, I can't say what it was, but it was funny. We go back in two, three. Phase two is over, and I am definitely happy to say goodbye to the tricep kickbacks. It's one of the hardest exercises I think there is. I usually do them on my knees, which makes it easier, although I don't know how much easier it is on your triceps. It's really just more easy on your shoulders. Last one. And rest. You guys, it's a struggle. It's supposed to be. Even on day 49, I designed it to be hard. I don't want you up there like flying through the exercise thinking it's easy. I want you in it, struggling to get better every single day. That's how we make progress. It is the end of phase two, and you should be feeling really proud. We're about to be 50 days in. That's a really big accomplishment to still be in it and going for it. But you might also be starting to feel really tired. We're beating our bodies up on a daily basis. We only have one rest day. So that's why it's so, so important to be taking care of yourself, to be getting enough sleep, to celebrating the small victories along the way. Um, right now, people are starting to probably think, why did my changes slow down? Why is the scale not moving as fast? The progress does not stay at this very fast paced progress for the full 80 days. It doesn't mean that the program isn't working. That is the natural path of any fitness routine and healthy way of eating. So there is a lot of different things that you might be feeling as we hit day 50 and the start of phase three, but hopefully overall people are feeling good, they're feeling stronger, and they're feeling just recommitted to the last phase. Are we ready for day 50? Come on, gotta work for it. Doesn't just happen. Ducks, come on. We're gonna finish this round. You're gonna get a quick second breather. Press those shoulders down, flat back. I like phase two, better not like phase one, only because there are a lot more compounded moves, and I feel like I'm working out my whole body every day, even though we're like focusing on shoulders, but we're doing shoulders and legs and arms and everything else put together. I really like the workout moves that we did this month just because they were a little more complicated, so there was a lot more going on. Going into phase one, I didn't know what to expect. Phase two, I thought, okay, I can do this, and every time I went a little bit heavier, and now going into phase Phase three, I feel like I just want to hit the ground running. Drive down through the palms of your hands. Hips up high. When I think about phase three, there's no telling what Autumn has cooked up. I'm very excited to really, really be challenged, and I think we're all ready for it because we're all strong, so it should be fun. Awesome job finishing day 50, phase two. See you guys on Monday for phase three. Happy birthday. celebrations and refeed days are taking place in week eight. If you want more information on all of it and 80 Day Obsession, head over to Beachbody On Demand and sign up today.